the very fact that you have four Gospels and they don't necessarily agree about everything means you've got dissent built in to your most basic convictions. Take the idea that Marcion wanted to keep everything strictly consistent and therefore basically he said we can't use any of what we call the Old Testament. It was the church's strong decision that you could not make sense of who we are without the Old Testament, but yet we were still in some tension between what it meant for God to have called Israel as the promised people into the world and Christ as the Messiah who came primarily to Gentiles, it turned out. That's a matter of strong conflict that has been characteristic of Christianity through the ages. It is a great achievement that Christians can have arguments with one another that presuppose that there's fundamental agreement that allows the argument to take place in a manner that you can discover what's at stake. That is oftentimes not the case when you are arguing with people who are not Christians. You simply don't share enough to have an argument. So you end up shouting at one another rather than arguing with one another. Argument is a great, great achievement for a community to have. Uh, without heretics, we don't know what we believe. That's the reason why heretics are blessed, because we don't know what is true until someone gets it wrong. We didn't know until Arius came along that we needed to have a Trinitarian position called Nicaea. That was necessary because Arius thought the Father was so far different from the Son and the Spirit that there was a monotheism that made worship of Jesus close to idolatry. The church had to say, no, that was wrong. But it took a lot of conflict to discover that. It is very, very important for us to carry the energy of we care about people who see things differently rather than flipping them off in some form or fashion. So I think I'm talking about something that's really basic to Christianity is that you really, all of us have this responsibility to see Christ in all persons, loving our neighbor as ourselves, to seek and serve Christ. I mean, even when Christ is heavily disguised, Christ is so heavily disguised in some people sometimes, and our job is to ignore that and to say, I am loving the Christ in you. I just got back from this con uh, conference with Richard Rohr, and his definition of a Christian, a Christian is the person who sees Christ in absolutely everyone and everything. Now, if that's your daily modus operandi, going into the world, I mean, that's why this prayer chair right here is so important. To be there for, a, for me for an hour so that I can make sure that when I go into the world, not only have I brushed my teeth downstairs in my bathroom, I have brushed my soul and heart so that I, I, I know that absolutely everybody I see is, is Christ. Everybody I see today is given is Christ. That's crucial. Why sweat the setbacks? Because Life is always about two steps back and three steps forward. And it the three steps, the two steps back are for you to understand that God is being faithful to God's purpose. God is working God's purpose out as year goes into year. Um, Isaiah, over and over again, I am going to prevail. This is going to work out. And too often we make our mistakes, our setbacks, our failures, our deaths into the biggest thing that's ever happened in the world. No. 
unending hope, unending hope.